welcome back students today's session is regarding circular measures in circular measures we are dealing with two main things number one is the arc length and number two is the area of the sector arc length it's the circular arc ab its length is considered as arc length and area of sector obviously this is a piece of circle which is considered as sector or segment so its area to find out is called the area of the sector you people have, would have been dealing before in your o levels but in a different way out where the angles were mentioned in degrees here we are going to deal with this topic when the angles are in radians this is another way of writing the angles let us see first that how to convert degrees to radians if you want to convert degrees to radian measure you have to multiply the value of the angle in degrees by pi over 180 for example it's a 30 degree angle by multiplying it by pi over 180 after the simplification we are able to get this is pi over 6 radians similarly if you want to convert radians to degree measure you will be multiplying by 180 over pi for example if there is an angle pi by 4 radians given to you pi over 4 multiplied by 1 over 80 pi and pi cancel out and we are left with 45 degrees one radian is actually the angle when radius and the arc length they become equal to each other for example if radius is 3 and arc length is 3 angle is going to be one radian if radius is 4 length is 4 angle is one radian if radius is 5 length is 5 angle is going to be one radian now let us see the formula i will be using for finding the arc length this circular arc it's quite simple to find out by just multiplying radius with the value of the angle but here the most important thing is there that theta must be in radians and to solve these sort of questions do not forget to change your calculator to radian mods this is pretty necessary similarly if you are looking for the area of this sector area is going to be half r square into theta and again theta must be in radian mod this is pretty necessary otherwise in degrees this will not be applicable let us see an example in which we are going to use theta in radian format to find out different things in a question for example here is an example being taken that in which a circle is there and a line which is attained to the circle at point p comes over here from q we have drawn a line which meets the center of the circle we know by the angle properties that tangent makes an angle of 90 degree with the line through the center so this angle is going to be 90 degree now if you deal with this this triangle has become a right angle triangle so if you are dealing with a right angle triangle it's quite simple for us to find out the first part poq that means you are supposed to find this angle so to find this angle if you see the side opposite to this is given and the side adjacent to this this is given so by using so ka to a we can use it opposite over adjacent so tan poq is going to be opposite which is 8 over 6 which is adjacent so p o q is going to be tan inverse 8 divided by 6 and our calculator is going to give you a quick answer shift 10 8 divided by 6 and this gives us 0.927 
ज़ीरो पॉइंट नाइन टू सेवन रेडियंस नाउ दे आर आस्किंग अस इन द सेकंड पार्ट टू कैलकुलेट द लेंथ ऑफ क्यू आर फॉर फाइंडिंग द लेंथ ऑफ क्यू आर इट्स क्वाइट ऑब्वियस दैट दिस लेंथ ओ आर इज रेडियस विच इज सिक्स सो इफ वी आर एबल टू फाइंड आउट ओ क्यू by subtracting 6 from oq we will be able to get the value of qr and oq is the hypotenuse of this triangle since it is a right angle triangle so pythagoras theorem is valid so by using the pythagoras theorem oq is equals to 8 square plus 6 square which makes it equals to square root 100 and obviously it is going to be plus 10 cm now to find out the length of qr 10 minus the radius which is going to give us that qr is actually 4 cm now he is looking for the perimeter of the shaded region which is consisting of this this and this two of the lengths are already with us so we are looking for the circular arc pr let us see how can we find this circular arc pr can be found by using the arc length formula that is l is equals to r theta the radius of this circle is 6 and theta as we have found over here 0.927 this is going to give us 5.56 5.56 cm so the perimeter of the shaded region which is consisting of pq qr and rp circular so the perimeter is going to be as we know perimeter is sum of all sides so it is 8 plus 4 and plus 5.56 which gives us 8 plus 4 is 12 12 plus 5 is 17.56 centimeters in this way we can use trigonometry we can use pythagoras theorem and we can use circle properties and the arc length and area of sector formula to find out the value of the arc length value of the perimeter value of the area of a sector i hope this is going to give you a great help in solving your questions i know in elevens questions you might be finding quite difficult situations where many complex figures are seen but the basic idea for the circular measures is the same you should you need to have a good grip on trigonometry circle properties mensuration sometime it's needed for you to solve all of these questions and which is the pretty important part of as paper 1 thank you